The United Nations Security Council makes do with a watered-down resolution. In turn, Israel says the UNSC fails to condemn Hamas. Czech Republic comes together as it mourns its deadliest shooting in modern history. A drone reportedly hit a high-rise building in Kyiv on Friday night, destroying three flats and injuring two people. Storms and floods have struck northern Europe, killing two people and causing extensive damage in parts of the affected areas. The United Nations Security Council makes do with a watered-down resolution on Friday calling for the intensification of aid deliveries to desperate civilians in Gaza, but without the original plea for a ceasefire. In turn, Israel says the UNSC fails to condemn Hamas. We are continuing the march. We will not relent until we reach an immediate ceasefire and having the massive amount of humanitarian assistance to the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. Thank you, Mr. President. 77 days ago, Hamas intentionally murdered, raped, and mutilated 1,300 Israelis and took 250 hostages. And this council still has yet to issue a single statement condemning Hamas and their atrocities. The Israeli military released footage taken by a military-trained dog of a network of underground tunnels beneath the area of Issa in Gaza City. They say they were used by Hamas militants as a command and control center and has since been destroyed by troops. Czech Republic mourns its deadliest shooting in modern history. The rampage in Prague took 14 lives. The shooter himself committed suicide. Many Czech cities joined Prague in organizing vigils and memorial services. Psychologists say they aren't sure how society is going to react. To víte, že ze začátku budeme žít v určité nedůvěře. Já jsem zvědav, co se bude dít potom. Může to u nás zesílit ostražitost vůči čemukoliv cizímu, nepochopitelnému, anebo naopak to může zvýšit naše empatii vůči lidem, kterým se dějí, dějí obtížné věci. Ale ano, v prvé chvíli si myslím, že je zřejmé, že přijde značné znejštění. Police believe that the Prague shooter could also be responsible for a double murder that happened in a Klanovis forest near Prague, where on December 15th a man and his baby daughter were found killed. A drone reportedly hit a high-rise building in Kyiv on Friday night. It destroyed three flats on the upper floor of the building, according to reports. Windows were also shattered. Two people were injured, one of whom was hospitalized. Meanwhile, French President Emmanuel Macron says support for Ukraine must continue. Nous ne pouvons laisser la Russie gagner. Quel serait le lendemain pour nous, Européens? Nous continuerons donc à aider les Ukrainiens. Ce que nous faisons, même si cela nous coûte, est déterminant pour notre sécurité future. Despite the war, a survey conducted by RBC Ukraine suggested 60% of Ukrainians would celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December this year, in line with much of Western Europe. Before the invasion, only 18% celebrated Christmas on that day. A quarter of respondents will celebrate Christmas twice, once on the 25th and then on the 7th of January. A storm brought heavy rain and strong winds across northern Europe overnight and into Friday, bringing down trees and prompting warnings of flooding on the North Sea coast. Two women were killed by falling trees, one in Belgium and the other in the Netherlands. Travel has also been disrupted just before Christmas. In Norway, flight and ferry departures have been cancelled. Pre-Christmas rail travellers in parts of Germany faced cancellations, delays and diversions. Routes affected included those from Hamburg and Hanover to Frankfurt and Munich. Storm Pia hit Denmark and the wind is still strong in many parts of the country. There have been some fallen trees and flooding in many coastal areas during the night. German authorities have warned of a storm surge of up to three metres or more above mean high tide on parts of the North Sea coast on Friday.